Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about equation of continuity. In this video we will consider that a pipe or having an irregular shape in which, in, in which uh, the initial point is very narrow and the final point or final area is uh, very wide. In this uh, case we can consider that the area A1 is not equal to area A2 and different area. The flow or uh, fluid is moving in this direction having velocity v1 and for some in interval of time delta t it covers a small distance delta x1 and the area of this region is known as a1. After some time uh, for the time interval delta t for small time it means that the uh, when the particle or fluid is moving uh, outside of the pipe having velocity v2 and uh, it covered a small distance of delta x2. From this expression, first of all, we can calculate the mass. Uh, what will be the mass of this region? Delta M1. And what will be the mass of this region? Delta M2. We need to calculate these two masses. And after that, we will find out the final relationship of the equation of continuity of this region and this region. These two regions. So, we know the formula of density is equal to mass per unit volume. So, from this expression we can calculate mass. So, mass can be calculated is equal to mass is equal to density multiplied by volume. This is not a velocity, this is volume, capital V. So, the volume, the formula of volume comes from area multiplied by this distance. So, we can find M1 or this we are finding out for portion 1 or we can say that delta M1 is equal to rho 1 the volume is equal to area 1 multiplied by this distance a1 multiplied by delta x1 so this is the expression for mass for this region but we need we can calculate or we can simplify this uh, region we know the relation s is equal to vt distance covered by the body having some velocity in some time so we are finding out for this region for small time delta t so this x or this distance is known as delta x1 is equal to for region 1 this is v1 and delta t we can put this expression or delta value of delta x1 in this expression and find out the final term of delta m1 the delta m1 will be delta m1 is equal to rho 1 a1 and delta x1 is equal to v1 delta t v1 multiplied by delta t this is the first expression of delta m1 similarly we can find out the value of delta m2 from this region because this region has same geometry of area velocity and some distance this 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 shaded region is covered for some small time delta t so similarly if we want to calculate the value of delta m2 from this region delta m2 is equal to rho 2 a2 v2 and delta t the time remain constant because this region is captured for some small interval delta t with the same time this region is captured for small interval delta t so the our condition is that these two masses or these two uh, uh, masses and their densities are equal so the fluid is incompressible and this is a steady flow and streamline flow the masses are equal so we can generalize or we can equate these two masses delta m1 is equal to delta m2 so rho 1 a1 v1 and delta d1 is equal to from the downside of the delta m1 the value of this expression will come rho 1 a1 v1 and delta t is equal to for, for the expression of delta m2 it will be rho 2 a2 v2 and delta t this v is velocity not a volume volume is also finished here so uh, here delta t can be cancelled out from both sides we have equated these two expressions and from the other side the final term will be rho 1 a1 v1 is equal to rho 2 a2 and v2 
you can say that this fluid is incompressible and steady flow in the streamline flow we can uh, write the expression for this that, that their densities are constant because of uh, their property of incompressibility this row 1 is equal to row 2 and this these can be cancelled out or we can say that row 1 is equal to row 2 is equal to row or uh, when we put this value of rho in these two uh, terms, we can find the rho a1, v1 is equal to rho a2 and v2. This uh, density can be cancelled out from this expression. This density can be cancelled out and the final expression for the equation of continuity will be as follows. a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so this is known as equation of continuity and it means that the area multiplied by velocity of the part 1 is equal to area multiplied by velocity of part 2 so this is known as equation of continuity and we can generalize this expression from its units the units for uh, area is equal to meter square the unit of velocity is equal to meter per second so the meter square multiplied by meter become meter cube per second this is known as volume of the fluid passing through some time or rate of flow is known as equation of continuity or this is a general relationship for the equation of continuity up till now we have finished about equation of continuity and along with we have discussed their velocity for the region 1, the velocity for region 2 passing through area 1 having small distress delta x1 and in this region area uh, of the uh, this region is a2 and flow is moving with the velocity v2 and for small interval delta t we find out the value of delta x2 this is a small distance. Up till now we have finished about the equation of continuity and we have expressed final term in general expression of equation of continuity. Uh, if you like our video, you can subscribe our channel for more videos. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.